Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers, my sisters, um, you and I know what happened in Turkey, Syria, and a few of the other places. A few other countries were affected as well. Uh, I want to start off by saying that those who say that this is a punishment of Allah, they have absolutely no right, no authority from Allah Almighty to declare that. There are so many innocent souls who have lost their lives, children, widows, uh, those who, are, who have struggled and suffered all these years, men and women, and you cannot, you cannot just declare that this is the punishment of Allah. In fact, a person who dies in this type of an earthquake would actually be considered a martyr uh, in rank in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's very dangerous to make those statements. We are saddened by what has happened and this is, from what I see, one of the worst that I've known in my life. Uh, may Allah Almighty truly grant alle alleviation to those who are struggling at the moment. I want to quickly tell you that at Abdullah Aid we've managed to send a plane load of uh, aid uh, through various channels and alhamdulillah it has gotten to the destination. Uh, I have posted a few uh, pictures of when it was leaving Amman, Jordan and I will post a few videos and, and that shortly. But my brothers and sisters, uh, what was required in the initial hours and still is required experts in rescuing those who are stuck under the rubble. So for people like you and I to, to go there and uh, you know to try and help with food, medicine, water and so on, in the initial days they wanted us to back off a little bit in order to make way for those who are professionals in rescuing people from rubble. And as time passes, uh, slowly but surely they're opening up to everyone else as well. But it's very important that only relief workers and those who are seriously going to be helping out, uh, as well as families of those who are stuck. Like there are so many people across Europe, who's, and, and not just Europe, but across the world. A lot of people of Turkish origin and people who have loved ones there, they are affected because their families are affected. So for them to go as well. Uh, it's very cold, it's icy weather. With that rescue operations, people, a lot of survivors, many have lost their lives. It's a very sad scenario. So the assistance that you and I can render is that of food, blankets, water, medication. Uh, that's the most important thing for now, as well as some uh, warm clothing, you know, there are going to be makeshift tents that we would have to put up already. They are there, makeshift uh, tents uh, for people to stay, even though the weather is freezing. So it's really a tough situation. Uh, I was very saddened by some Muslims saying, no, this is the punishment of Allah. That is unacceptable. You can't say that. And if you, if you have said it, you know, you need to seek the forgiveness of Allah Almighty because any calamity, anything that strikes, uh, there are so many people who were so close to Allah Almighty who were struck by the same. Uh, you cannot say that that was a punishment. In fact, they returned to Allah as martyrs. And then there may have been some people who, must, who might have been within the disobedience of the Almighty and so on. Uh, for them, it's a different scenario. But... Nonetheless, whenever a calamity of this nature strikes, we must give people hope, we must reach out to them, we must make sure that we've done something tremendous for them to the best of our ability. If you notice, each time there is a disaster, the next disaster seems to eclipse the previous one in magnitude. And that's something worth noting because as time is passing, it's becoming even worse. So we ask Allah Almighty to help us, to guide us. Uh, and may Allah Almighty grant us ease and goodness. I'm seeing some of the comments here. It is heartbreaking indeed. And people from across the globe, 
uh, are rendering a lot of assistance. You know, millions of dollars have actually come in. And I'm sure there are so many legitimate uh, uh, bodies and organizations and charities that are carrying out the work. Please make sure when you do donate, you give someone you trust. Because we wouldn't like them to be scammed. We wouldn't like them to scam us either. The aid needs to get to the recipients uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yes, indeed, it's not only in Turkey, although Turkey has been affected the most, but uh, other countries have been affected as well. Uh, you know, Syria, Lebanon, as far as uh, Greece and Egypt, uh, you know, it's, it's really, uh, my, it's, it's, it's humongous, it's big. Uh, we ask Allah Almighty to protect all of us and uh, to make it easy. Someone says, can you comment on your post about this being the signs of the end of times? I wouldn't like to say this is the sign of the end of times. There have been a hundred years back and even be before that, there have been huge earthquakes, humongous ones, far bigger than this as well. If you, if you recall uh, and if you've studied, you see the huge uh, uh, geographical, uh, you know, uh, the geographical locations of uh, the continents uh, before it was actually uh, almost one and or two and then it split into three and four those were huge huge earthquakes and, and uh, huge tremors and whatever else it might have been but indeed we are the closest to the end of times than any other human being that's facts because we're in the latest of the time how close or far uh, the day, the, la, the final time is is known by Allah. Uh, Allah says, "Innahum yarawnahu ba'idan, wa narahu qariban." You know, we uh, they see it far, we see it near. It's a matter of time. So, for you and I, we need to turn to the Almighty uh, in our own uh, correction, in our own um, betterment, in our own uh, repentance. Uh, we need to turn to Allah and at the same time reach out to everyone that you can in this particular issue. Now, that having been said, my brothers, my sisters, remember whenever there is a sad moment for others, don't show and express your happiness, no matter who they are. Don't express happiness at the loss or the sadness of another person, uh, no matter who they are. May Allah Almighty uh, grant us the ability to be steadfast and inshallah we will continue to give you updates. Like I say, I've been working with Abdullah Aid, but there are so many other charities. In fact, we're having a unity appeal where many charities have come together in order to try and get this coordinated and done in the best possible way. And I just want to congratulate all those who've assisted, who've contributed. And at the same time, those who've gone out, there are some who've actually made it all the way to uh, where this has happened. And mashallah, they're doing tremendous work. Uh, with us too, I'm not there in person yet, but uh, alhamdulillah, the teams are there working, distributing the much needed aid, like we said, the food, clothing, the uh, blankets, uh, and the, the, the water and so on, you know, fresh water. Similarly, medication, and a lot of this is needed. And uh, also congratulations to the rescue teams, those who are rescuing. Wallahi, we pray for them. It's not, it's not easy. To, you, you need to know how to rescue people from under the rubbles, and you need to be dedicated. It's very hard work. You need to be fit. You need to have food and drink as well. And, you know, it's very uh, strenuous. So may Allah bless everyone, everyone, of uh, those who are doing something about it. This has affected the globe. Everyone everywhere has relatives and families who are affected by this. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant ease. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.